Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle. If you are new, a very warm welcome and if you are returning, thanks so much for watching my videos. I do appreciate it. So guys, if you follow me on Twitter, you would have noticed that I purchased a new pack for The Sims on Wednesday and I have a lot of packs to go but I usually purchase them when I can and when they're on sale of course. So this pack is No Escape. And I know it's as cliche as it sounds, I had to use it in this video because the first thing I did when I purchased the pack and it installed was go into the world and start building. I didn't make it pack orientated, so I didn't make a build replicating or showing Snowy Escape to its full extent. The reason is I had an idea for a home in my head already during the week that I was going to do on Friday. I never knew the sale was going to come and then I got Snowy Escape, but that build was in my head and I had to build it and it's my style of homes. I really do like the style. It gives it like, I don't know, it's like an American type of suburban home and I like that style of home. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build. Let's go. So as you guys can see, I kind of started really like, I don't know, I had the picture and I'm going to show you the picture on the screen so you guys can actually see what I worked from. But like I said, it's not like really showcasing Snowy Escape or the world and the world, let me tell you, is beautiful. It is really beautiful. I'm more into building, like I said on my Twitter as well, I'm more into building. So I usually buy a pack, you know, that has good building items and I do need to actually get a lot more packs. I, I don't have all the packs, but I'm quite happy because I'm still one of the lucky ones. I don't know if you, I call myself lucky because I can still look forward to a lot of packs. The problem I had with this build, you guys can see it is very, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like one dimensional. The picture looks beautiful because I actually took a screen grab of a video I was watching on Facebook and the house just, it just caught my attention and I knew I had to build it. I don't know what happens at the back or on the sides because there's no other views other than that. And of course, you know, you kind of have to make it work. So the back of the home in whole, I think the back is, was the most, I don't know. Uh, I don't know it was like I just had to add or maybe you know take a room away but the thing is the lot was so small I love building on small lots the lot was so small and because I focused more on the the front side of the house it didn't leave much space at the back and I didn't want to take away from the home because it is a three bedroom home one bathroom three, three bedroom and I did cut out most of the debug because as you guys know I don't know where all the debug items is yet and now they add, now I just added more and that is just confusing to the max. So you see me using the big stones outside to kind of, you know, round off the garden. But I do, I ever, when I get to the end and I, you know, do the pathway and everything, I kind of see it's, it's not really working the big stone. So what I did is I actually downsized it, but I cut that whole footage out because you didn't want to see me do it all over again. But I did downsize those stones. You do find them in debug. I love them. Um, they just, I don't know, they kind of round off a garden. I see a lot of creators using them as well. And they look gorgeous. They just kind of give your garden, I don't know, just a small, intimate feeling. So like I said, it is a small home, but small in the sense of there's not a lot going out on outside, but in the inside it is three three bedrooms which I think for the lot is big and it's one story so I don't know I just I just like the home on the picture and, and like I said I knew I had to actually build it I know the garages are just for show but I love using garages I don't know why I just wish they had like wide garage doors with the windows on top that you know you could see it on the picture as well I wish they had those type even if it's just for decoration like it is now but you can see me because in the picture the actual pathway, you can see me skipping the whole part because I just redid it. I don't want you guys to see it all over again. In the picture, it's like a cement block, so it's kind of lifted. So you can almost imagine that the, the pathway on the picture in the real life kind of connects with the stones. So it's, it's like leveled. And of course, you know, the paint on the Sims, it's not lifted, so it didn't look good with a big stone. So that's why I had to downsize it. Also, the garden. I don't know. The garden on the picture looks, you know, normal. It looks acceptable. You know, it looks like it's maintained and it's not a lot of maintenance to keep up, but it didn't look good in The Sims. So I kind of struggled with this garden. I don't know why. I think it's because it looked super, super empty, like really empty. So at the end of the footage, you'll actually see me go back and just add a few stuff. I know I wanted to do it exactly like the picture, but it just, it just didn't look good. 
So that's why I added a lot more other like grass, not, not big stuff, but just grass and stuff. And I think it kind of, I don't know, sealed. So you'll kind of see in the real picture that the shrubs or that little, you know, little garden there by the pathway, it is really empty. Sorry, my phone's supposed to be on silent if you heard that, but I didn't really know what to do. So I just kind of ended up putting patches underneath that little, I don't know, little mix, little garden there. I don't think in the real picture, the people that live in that home is people that really worry about their garden. But I kind of went back and put grass in there, you know, just to fill up the empty spaces. And I know, <gasps> I used debug. I used only debug for the garden and the plants. So, you know, have mercy on me. It's not that bad. The only, I don't know. You know what? Why I actually chose to use debug is because as I was started starting to build, I kind of figured I wanted this to be like a, I don't know, like a starter home. And I also don't know why I chose to do that because it is my new pack and you actually want to use all the new things you have because it's so exciting, right? No, not me, not me. I don't know why I always choose to do base game homes and starter homes. Doesn't, doesn't make sense, does it? No, I also, I, I can't understand myself, but I did. I actually ended up doing a starter home a starter home with a brand new pack that I just purchased. It's like beyond me. I didn't anticipate the build being three bedrooms. I really didn't. But it ended up being three bedroom. It is really, I don't know, one dimensional home. There isn't really a lot of twists and turns inside. And for me personally, I don't want to boost myself, but I don't think I'm that bad with floor plans. I sometimes think about it, especially if the build or the exterior has a lot of twists and turns, you actually have to have to you know kind of think about it but for this pillow it was pretty simple to kind of just put down the floor plan and decide you know it is going to be three bedrooms etc with the windows you can see it's a light gray color but I actually went back and changed it to white because it pops more I didn't put that on the footage and I'm sorry and I'm sorry and that windows over there I didn't know it was actually like one you know one-sided or you can only look through it one side so the window is there at the end you can see it's still shaded like a little I don't know mosaic or something at the back so I do go back and the front door and I do go back and I actually change it to you know be a two-way window where you can see both inside and outside so sorry I don't think I've actually recorded that but I do however record the garden that I changed and I know I know I usually go for greens not greens I wanted to say greens yellows in my builds like the yellow exterior but in my defense in my defense the real picture or the picture of the actual building that inspired me was yellow I know, I know. so it's not completely my fault I didn't actually intend to use yellow but the style of the home got my attention with the fact that it's yellow okay whatever so I'm actually starting a build as well again because I, I just love snowy escape and the build items maybe because it's new for me I don't know but I really do I like the furniture and I, I like what I did inside the home as well the, the, the walls all the rooms are different colors block pillars it was like oh because I see so many people use them in their homes and I, for the life of me I couldn't figure out where they find those pillars Always when I watch a video, and it's mostly speed builds, and they go to the pillars, it goes like that. And I can't pause it in time to see what pack it was. So when I bought Snow Escape and I saw the pillars, I'm like, the, just plain normal block pillars, wood. I'm like, oh, I found it finally, and I had to use it. So I actually do also go back. I don't know if I recorded that part. I don't know. But I do go back and I put those pillars outside as well because it does kind of, I don't know, make the house a little bit more warm. warm. I just love what I did with this home. I really did. Like I said, it is a starter home. I don't know why I do that to myself because I just bought a bag and I wanted to use everything and see what there is to offer, but I didn't. So typical me. So those, I put rugs down as well. Those fluffy rugs. And I've seen so many people use them in their builds. And I always think to myself, if I have the pack that has those rugs in, I'll be so happy. 
I got the pack. I got the pack that has those fluffy rugs in and I am so chuffed with that. Really, really do. It makes a room look so gorgeous, so gorgeous. But uh, we're nearing to the end, so I'm gonna cut this short before I start with my verbal diary and just go all over the place and then I need to cut out a lot of things. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. You know what actually happened just, just before this one? I actually did a whole recording and I didn't switch on the microphone. So I might have said stuff in the previous voiceover that was so perfect because you're always so happy and then you end up not hearing anything because you chose the wrong microphone. Needless to say, I uninstalled that microphone so that won't happen again. So this is try number two, attempt number two on a voiceover and I made sure that this one is recorded. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Like I always say, enjoy whatever you're going to do over the weekend and I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, be safe and whatever you do over the weekend, just soak it all up. And if you're like me and just take the weekend as it goes, enjoy that as well. It's worth relaxing, I promise you. Take some time by yourself, reflect, casual build, stay off social media, whatever works for you, do it because you're worth it you're enough so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on tuesday because the poll ran its course and the winner is i won't tell you until tuesday so i'll see you guys tuesday have a great weekend and thank you so much for watching bye Say